Hey guys, I am here again and uh, here I will explain uh, 15th of February. And here we can see that I open terminal and I start working and sold 0.2 lots. Let's check that in the chart. Find that day, 15th of February. And here it is where I sold. It goes down, roll back. I just put here that I sold and see the situation. First of all, we open 4 hour chart before we start trading and check the situation there. Every day we have to do that. Uh, put the levels and uh, because we see the downtrend and we put uh, down levels. Then we move on one hour chart and we see here downtrend. Downtrend, uh, we don't pay attention on this, we just follow the day we're trading. Okay, we move to um, five minute chart. Where is that? Here it is. And we can see here why I sold. I sold 0.2 lots. It's, uh, it was, um, small lot I was not risking because I saw the situation like that we see here downtrend we we remember that and then we see the situation after we wake up we see here uh, previous day gave us double low and then in the night market moves uh, a little uptrend here one low second third low fourth low and then they hit this low yeah and go down so this uptrend is broken and the market is going down in this moment then we have here a previous low from previous day and here I saw that the market had a good impulse here you see one candle second candle third candle good impulse for crossing this level and they're all back. I sold here 0.2 lot because I was expecting that the market is going to roll back a bit higher, so I could sell right here for getting for catching um, downtrend. But the market didn't give that, and uh, I left this order for sell. And let's see what was the next. Here I put. Um, Stop profit on my order. Oh, here I uh, hear the market hit my stop profit, and I was expecting that uh, here at this picture market will reverse up. Why I was expecting that, let me tell you that. If we see the level here from previous day, we see that if we zoom it, we see that um, the market on one hour chart gave us a big candle down, they crossed this level and they closed uh, the candle upon the level. Then they hit another candle down and another. And if you see these candles, right, they are, mm, the market is not going down right here. You see, it's a big spike, spike candles here. So, here I uh, understand that the market uh, probably will go up. And I was buying somewhere here, yeah. Uh, I had I made a buy order here, 0.2 lots, expecting that from this point uh, they will go up. Because this was not a strong impulse to uh, break this level, double low. Okay, let's move forward. Mm -hmm. Here I uh, adding one more order expecting that market will not hit this low 
and go up giving me for example let's stop it giving me an m5 chart minus uh, double uh, yeah double uh, top here if the market go here they hit my order right here and go I expected that the market go up oh yeah I see here the situation mm, we can see here I bought again and um, I was buying uh, 0.2 lots because uh, it was uh, a time um, of publishing news I didn't want to risk because if the new if the news go down and I could um, and I could get uh, losses so these losses would be not so big okay here you see that uh, a news time and the candle go down and I was preparing to close my orders here you see I was uh, waiting uh, what the market is going to do okay here I expect that market will go down and I close my orders and I change my decision for downtrend I lock these two orders with the loss of how much about 30 pips and uh, I sell here one lot because this is a huge impulse down uh, they and then was there was a level here let me see that on for our chart mm, no there was no levels on for our chart there was a level on one hour chart okay they hit this level with a huge impulse I decide to reverse my orders here and what's uh, what was next let's check I am adding one more order expecting that this impulse uh, this is a rollback from this impulse and they are going to, going to go down as uh, you always uh, know that if the market is going uh, in one way on news time they are going uh, with a huge trend that was uh, I expecting yeah, let's check yeah uh, if you can see here market uh, change its decision you see here they stuck a little bit uh, expecting that this could be a rollback from this uh, impulse rollback I sold here and I was waiting if they cross this point where they stuck I close my sell orders and reverse because here I understand that market is not going down because too long staying in one position it's not so good for sell orders okay here I put a buy order a lock position and I reverse with the same um, volume here you can see I am closing uh, all all positions that are in lock and I have one order on buy here I am adding one more buy because I am expecting that market will reverse the trend and I was waiting uh, you could say you know, where I put stops the stops I put uh, under this level I was waiting uh, my stops were manually if the market go down I would close them by by my hand and uh, go out of the market because uh, if you have three losses uh, you have to go out from the market because um, you will you will uh, market will break your brains break your psychology and you will uh, you can make mistakes so it's better to leave the market if you have three uh, minuses 
so in this case I had one minus right here I bought here close the order here one minus I sold here close the order here second minus uh, and third orders were here for buy these were the last orders I make for this day in any case if I have profit or loss I close it and I go out from the market it's the rule that I have to follow every time I'm trading but usually um, I will tell you a hint that a market usually they don't do such situation when you get three uh, three times losses uh, usually they give one or two time like here one time and second time they just uh, they cheated me but uh, if you control the situation you will not get the third time loss okay here you can see that I close uh, uh, 1.5 lots here at this point why because uh, I had a loss here and I had a loss two losses right and I had to cover these losses with profit so I get uh, zero um, if the market go here so I covered these uh, uh, losses with this small profit I close this block order and uh, I have one order on buy it's 0.5 lots and I wait for trend uh, to get profit let's see what was next um, I don't move to the chart because it's better to see here the situation was here at that point uh, why I close right here because uh, let's check that if you see the picture the market was moving they gave a huge impulse and you see here where they start this impulse down yeah they stuck right here and I was waiting what they will do next I was waiting 5 10 15 minutes and here I see that the market go up but I'm not sure that they will go up uh, from this point that's why my decision to close uh, uh, this 1.5 order and cover all losses here it is okay, let's move forward and I was waiting for this situation mm, I was expecting that the market go to these points to this point yeah you see here is a small corridor a night corridor this so this uh, level mm, not exactly this level but this section of level is a uh, aim for for this trend the first thing and I was waiting for it yeah you see here at at uh, 0591 0591 I close part of order because I, here I see they hit this level Let's just delete these all levels and put the mark that I closed my order here yeah I have have here buy order delete and uh, adding buy order and here I got uh, about 50 pips of profit a part of order here you can see how much 0 0.2 0 0.3 and here I didn't want to wait because it was evening already about uh, 6 7 p.m. and at this point how much didn't catch the price 
And where is that price? 0599. And I sold on 0599. Why I sold here? It's very simple because there was a, a big impulse. You can see that in the, in the in the chart here on the video. They stuck here a little bit, yeah, and they give a big impulse right here, and I make a decision to close this order and get profit. So here I finish my work, and then you can see at this point I close my order. And they stuck here, they gave a small double low and a bit roll back. And after a night, in the night, they just continue the trend. Okay, so no, the if you if you think that I closed on this um, trend line, it's not correct because this trend line is just a, just a line, it can be like this or like this or like this. Please don't pay attention on this line. Just uh, you, you must know that there is a downtrend. Okay, this is it for this day. Let's move to another video.